Hey guys, what is going on? This is Carnalbird5, and today I have another flashback player review. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the flashback legend, Will Clark. Um, so this is definitely an interesting card. Um, one of the things that makes it interesting is there's actually two ways to obtain this card. Uh, you can either do it through the collection, complete the Texas Rangers collection, and you get Will Clark. Or you can embody the Giants in Conquest and retrieve Will Clark as well. Uh, so you can actually get two of them. I don't know why you'd want two of them, but uh, yeah. And this legend is returning from last year, and I think a lot of people are overlooking this legend. Um, I think it's just because there's so many options at first, people really don't have much interest in this card. But uh, let me talk about his attributes: contact versus righties and power versus righties is really solid, 85, 87. Um, so if you're comparing that to a player like Eddie Murray, he's a little bit better. And against lefties, he's not terrible either. 79 contact, which is more contact than somebody like Eddie Murray, um, but has a little bit less power. Still still doable power, though, at 58. Vision, solid, 76. And then we go to his fielding, 75. You know, arm strength, 60. 72 reaction, 54 speed. All that is really similar to a player, again, like Eddie Murray. Um, except, I mean, it's a little better. And yes, we'll have to include the fact that Will Clark throws left-handed and it makes him a very valuable asset there over there at first base so in my opinion one of the better defenders and athletes at first base has you know above average speed uh, you know good reaction and fielding as well um, like I said if you guys watch my Eddie Murray review you know one of the reasons I like Murray is because he has above average fielding and reaction and not most first basemen have that um, but yeah let's take a look at my stats so far with Will Clark 71 ABs uh, I have 10 home runs with him, so that's not bad. 10 home runs and only 71 ABs. Uh, I've scored 20 runs, 21 RBIs. I struck out one time with him. And I do use him lefty on lefty a lot. In fact, I, we'll see if we can show you guys the averages. Uh, I'm hitting 408 overall. Hitting 308 versus lefty, so not too bad. Hitting 431 versus righty, so I hit really well uh, with this card. On base 450, OPS 1394, so OPS is nearly 1400, so that's really solid. Um, let's see, I don't think I have any stolen bases. I'm wondering if it shows hits versus left-handed. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I don't. I don't know how much I use them, but I do have four hits versus lefties for whatever that's worth. I don't know how many abs. Oh, 13. All right, maybe I don't use them as much as I thought, but four out of 13 versus lefties. Um, I know I've used them against lefties though. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. One of my favorite first basemen. Um, again, he's honestly really similar to Eddie Murray in a way, except Eddie Murray, of course, those right hand and is a switch hitter, but their attributes are really similar, especially like their defense and speed, and even their hitting is pretty similar. Um, so next, guys, we'll get into some batting practice and show you guys some pointers and tips with the card, so stand by for that. Alright guys, we are back in batting practice facing Max Scherzer. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about lefty on lefty. If you guys watch my lefty on lefty video, that's pretty much the approach I use with Will Clark. Um, <clears throat> so we're just mainly going to focus on facing righties. A uh, couple things about Will Clark. First, where should you bat him in your lineup? Um, since he isn't you know, a switch hitter like Eddie Murray, um, he doesn't have that luxury of just going to the other side of the plate when a you know when a lefty comes in so you guys want to make sure you protect Will Clark you know put two righties in between him if possible um, I don't recommend you know putting back-to-back -back lefties with him I mean he, although he's not bad versus lefties and he can still hit them uh, I just don't recommend it so make sure you guys put some righties in between them just at least to protect them and that way you can play him the whole game and get the most out of his defensive ability because a lot of guys that hit well, a lot of first basemen that hit well versus lefties um, do not have great defense. I can't think of many. So, uh, going back to batting practice here, a couple of pointers. Um, one of the things I want to point out with Will Clark is unlike Prince Fielder, you don't have to worry about a annoying shift every time he comes up. Uh, so, you know, you can hit the all field. You don't have to worry about trying to beat the shift or hitting into the shift. You can just go up there and hit and do your thing. Uh, and Will Clark, trust me, is a guy that can hit the all fields. I have, uh, you know, quite a few opposite field home runs with him, um, and they leave the they leave the park pretty easily. So don't be afraid to hit opposite field with him. Of course, you know if your opponent is pitching inside, make that adjustment. So what I like to do, and we'll go to back control here. 
show you guys a few things on the PCI placement. Uh, it's not going to be anything really crazy. Um, this is really just a straight up hitter. I mean, he can hit to all fields. And of course, back control makes me, uh, I don't know why it does this in a game. but So yeah, if you want to hit the opposite field, what I like to do, of course, similar to a lot of reviews, I just like to start at either middle and cheat my thumb placement you know, to high and away a little bit. That way we get on top of it and we try to go with it. You know, you don't have to worry about a shift. You still have that left center gap. It's there. So, you know, try to take advantage of it. You can't really hit one there. Um, you can go up the middle as well. Let's see here. Oh, my timing is off. By the way, I'm using a different camera because I know a lot of you guys get sick of seeing the strike zone camera. So bear with me here if my hitting is not as good right now. Plus, I just got up. Uh, yeah, but anyways, if you're going, you know, up the middle or up post, you need to start it down the middle and cheat your thumb up and away and try to get on top of that pitch. There's a gapper. All right, let's see if we can get one inside. Not yet. I'll try to go up here, try to stay on top of that pitch. There we go. I don't know if that'll leave the park or not, but hit a decent warning track. All right, and if we're trying to pull it, what I like to do is either, you can just start it in the middle or cheat your PCI slightly, slightly up and in. That's what I like to do. He, I mean, he can pull him pretty easily. I don't notice he has a slow bat or anything. Um, and his stance to me, I like his stance. It doesn't bother me at all. That might, no, that's gonna be, oh, warning track power only. Um, so I guess one thing we could talk about is whether or not you should power swing with a guy like Will Clark. Um, he's really in between. Against some pitchers that don't have good per nines, I think Scherzer um, probably has some of the better per nines. I'm facing the uh, default Scherzer too. Uh, I think this is really borderline if you should power swing or not. If you don't trust in your ability to get the PCI on the ball, I wouldn't power swing. But if you're facing a bad pitcher or a pitcher that's tired, and that's when you want to start to power swing with Will Clark, it's not really necessary at all to power swing with him. And you can do a lot of good things with Will Clark. You know, you can hit behind the runner uh, when you do some hit and runs. Um, or you can hit, you know, left center, right center gap. He can pull it, push it well. Uh, he can see a lot of pitches, work the count. This is a guy you shouldn't be afraid to hit two strikes with either. See if we can actually get a good hit. There we go. Um, but I, when I use Will Clark, I do like to bat him usually in the two hole or in the three hole and make sure you have. I usually have my created guy. I think that's going to go. That's the opposite field power I'm talking about. Have my created guy and I think A rod in between them so that way I don't have to worry about my opponents bringing in lefties later in the game and getting, you know, easy, easy hitters to face. So there's really not many. <laughs> uh, super secret tips I can give you a Clark basically the guy can hit straight up however you want to hit you don't have to worry about the shift and he also has plus speed so I guess another advantage to Will Clark over a guy like Prince Fielder is if you occasionally do hit grounders uh, up the middle or in the hole between the third base and shortstop or down the third base line and if the third base manages to get to it you'll have a chance to run those out because he does have plus speed uh, I think it's at 54 so it's also a guy that you can score easier from first to home on those doubles or second to home on a single um that's really it guys nothing crazy uh i wish i had more gameplay to show you but unfortunately i wasn't recording a lot of time um but yeah one of my favorite first basemen uh he was one of my favorite legends from last year so i hope you guys enjoyed the review uh that's gonna do it this is card number five signing out peace